So, it's six to eight minutes. Please welcome to Tim. My two favorite things about sailing are the unique vantage point that you get on the world as you sail on the ocean looking back at the land. The other thing I like is the mental and physical challenge of getting a 10-ton sailboat to do exactly what you want. <laughs> this is a story about how those two things, my favorite things, came together in one day of sailing. <coughs> my wife and I had chartered a sailboat in the British Virgin Islands with two other couples, friends of ours. We'd been sailing around the British Virgin Islands and we had spent the night in the easternmost island, which is called Anagata. We woke up in the morning and we had some coffee and a light breakfast and decided to set our, our sights on an island 11 miles away called Virgin Gorda. So we went uh, on our way towards Virgin Gorda. It was a bright, sunny day. Sun was in the sky. There was about one foot of chop on the, on the water. Perfect, steady wind from the north. Everything was great. When we got to Virgin Gorda, nobody wanted to stop. So we just kept on going right down through the Sir Francis Strait Channel. And that is a position where you have the big island of Tortola on your starboard side. It's a long island, many miles long, and lots of little islands on your port side. And so we kept sailing on down the, the uh, Sir Francis Strait Channel, island after island going by. As the day wore on, we had lunch on our sailboat, which is kind of a, a hard thing to do unless the conditions are just right, because nobody wants to eat lunch when they're bouncing around and <laughs> trying to hold their drink and keep their stomach contents, right? So um, we kept going, and we were able to eat lunch that day. It was nice and calm and smooth and steady and perfect. And later on in the day, as the day wore on, the, the wives were up on the bow of the sailboat, sunning themselves and catching up, you know, with each other. The guys put the sailboat on autopilot. We had a beer and a real Cuban cigar that we had bought the day before. Still perfect. Island after island going by. We kept saying that at the next island we're going to stop and we're going to anchor for the night. Finally, we had made it to the last island in the British Virgin Island chain, the easternmost island. It was getting late in the day. The next island beyond that was the island of St. John, which is actually in a different country. It's in the U.S. So to go to St. John, you have to go through customs, and it's a pain in the neck. So we decided we're going to stay on Norman Island. We're going to anchor off Norman Island. So we go around Norman Island, and because we had waited so long, it was hard for us to find a place to anchor. I got out the chart, and I looked around, and I saw little anchor icons on the chart, I'm like, well, let's go there. So we go to where the anchor icons were. And there's a long uh, row of sailboats there. And we decided to slide in past the last sailboat in the row and anchor for the night. We pulled down the sails and we're coasting in uh, under the power of our motor. And all of a sudden, boom, we hit something, something hard. <laughs> the people on our boat that weren't holding on <laughs> fell, down, uh, fell down into the, under the floor. We're like, what was that? What was that? And we looked over the side. All we could see was sand down about 10 feet below. But that's plenty of water to float a sailboat. So what is it? What was it that was so hard? I pulled out the chart again, and I looked at that last little anchor icon, and I saw little X's around it. Like, X's around it. <laughs> what is that? Did I learn that in sailing school? I can't remember. I looked. I found the legend, and I looked, and X's meant coral head. So I put on my mask, I jumped over the side, and I looked, and sure enough, the keel of our sailboat had lodged itself right on top of a coral head that was about four feet tall and a little bit bigger than a kitchen table. And coral heads are like cement. So this is a 10-ton sailboat sitting on a block of cement. Because what are we going to do? I kept thinking about what we could do, and I'm the one that's supposed to know how to sail out of this group, right? So I'm, I'm the one that's got them. Everybody's looking at me like, what are we going to do? So I remember that if you, if you land on something, you're supposed to try to tilt your boat over so that it takes less water to float your boat so you can, you know, move right off of it. So I came up with this idea. The boom on a sailboat is the, it's the bottom beam that holds the main sail and we rotated it out so it's perpendicular now with the sailboat. 
and we climbed out there like monkeys, all six of us, hanging on, trying to get our weight to tilt the boat so that it would come off of the coral head. No luck. It didn't work at all. By then, some sailors nearby had come over in their dinghy trying to help. Their idea was to take their rubber dinghy and push on the side of our boat with a little 10 horsepower boater that sounded like a mosquito. And I knew that wouldn't work. And I just stood there on the deck kind of watching them. But it gave me an idea. And the idea was is that I could drop the anchor into their dinghy and then drive the dinghy out into the ocean a couple hundred feet, drop the anchor, secure it, and drag the sailboat off of the coral hat. And so I, we got all that hooked up, we got the anchor secured, we started up the electric winch, and grind, grind, grind. Finally, the boat starts to move. Right as it starts to move, click, it's quiet. The boat stops moving. We'd blown the breaker on the motor that pulls, the winch motor that pulled the anchor. So I figured out where the, where the breaker was, got that flipped back over, and I'm like, but we moved, we moved. I put my mask on, and by now it was dark. And I had to take an underwater flashlight and look and see what happened. We hadn't really moved. What we'd done is rotated just a little bit. Like, oh, well, we can call the Coast Guard. That could be expensive. Or we could spend the night on top of this coral head. And I don't think any of us are going to get a wink of sleep. So we might as well try one more thing. And the final thing that we tried was we pulled the anchor back up. We put it back in the dinghy, and we took it straight into the wind from where the sailboat was. We dropped it into the ocean, secured it, and we started winching again. And we rotated the sailboat directly into the wind. Then we pulled up all of the sails, and as high as they would go, up on the mast, and then we pulled up the anchor, we put it back in the dinghy, we, we drove it perpendicular to the sailboat over here, dropped it in, secured the anchor, and started winching. And as we started winching, the sailboat rotated so that it was perpendicular to the wind. And finally, when it was perpendicular to the wind, the wind filled the sails, the boat heeled over, and it came right off of the coral head. Yeah. We quickly pulled down the sails, we anchored the boat, and we celebrated one of the best days of sailing of my life. <laughs>